hop on in. We're heading to ICAST to film the latest and greatest in kayaks and fishing. This is iCast. Hey folks, Kayak DIY, and right now we are at the Vibe and Riot booth. Uh, these two companies now came together, and basically it's a one-stop shop here that we got going on. I'm here with Matt Charette, and he's going to explain to me what is new at Vibe. Hey guys, Matt Charette here. So I am the product manager here at Vibe, and we have some really cool ecosystem stuff to show everyone right now. We're here with the Uptown 100. This is our newest inflatable paddleboard. You might have noticed something a little cool about this one though, it does have a pedal drive in it. So this is the impulse drive. So Vibe and Riot Kayak Distribution are one company now. So we have some really cool stuff happening. We can put the, we can put the Vibe X drive or the Riot impulse drive into this boat, no problem whatsoever. We'll have different pods to swap out to different drives. So if you want the impulse drive with your instant reverse, you want a little bit more speed from the prop drive, you've got that. If you want to get up shallow and use the fin style drive, the X drive is going to be perfect for that. So this boat's really, really versatile that way. So basically it's set up a lot like a kayak would be. You've got your frame seat, you've got your steering with stainless steel cables, you've got a really solid platform, and you've got four gear tracks on this thing. So you can rig it up for fishing, you can rig it up to record, you, you can really make this boat yours in any way that you want. So we're really, really excited about this Uptown. So another part of the Vibe ecosystem is the Meccano 100. This one's new for this year. This is a 10 foot kayak. It's got a pontoon style hull. It's very stable. It's very maneuverable. This thing is basically a super lightweight killer. Um, 55 pounds without anything in it. And like the rest of the Vibe ecosystem, we can have the X drive in this, or Justin's actually holding on to the impulse drive pod. It slots, slots right in here, and you can have your impulse drive and adjust it any way you want. So on this boat, it's, it's very focused towards both recreation and fishing. So over here, you might see there's a transducer scupper, so you can run your downscan transducer to the bottom, and there's a plate down there to protect it. Another thing that we have on all of the Vibe boats is all of our framed seats allow you to mount the standing perch or sitting perch for a lot of people. Not everybody's quite stable enough to stand on this thing, but if you want another 16 inches off the deck of the kayak, you can stand or sit on this and give yourself some awesome sight fishing opportunities. Moving back to the back of the boat, for a 10 foot boat, this is a huge tank well, so you can fit your black pack, you can fit your crate, you can fit your yak gadget crate, Anything you want to put back here, there's, there's going to be plenty of room for it. And it comes standard with our Versa clips, which allow you to mount onto any bungee and just about any surface. All the way at the back, we have power pole mounts on the back of this. So you can mount a power pole if you want to. You can mount a quick drop anchor. You can mount just about any of your bigger accessories back here, including motors or what have you. So we have one on each side, and it really makes this thing a super versatile little boat. So this is the Riot Mako Air. You guys might be familiar with this one. I know Justin's familiar with this one. Adventure in a bag. That is the Mako Air 8.5. Inflated from an electric pump or the included manual pump. It has three chambers. Inflate to 15 PSI and go. This catamaran style haul is like nothing you've seen. It has an incredibly comfortable seat. It's rock solid under your feet, has ambidextrous steering, adjustable leg length pedal drive system, drop down rudder. The pedal drive is so smooth, it practically turns itself. And it's lightweight. I was able to cover several miles without any effort. Catch some fish, have fun with friends, and make some memories. The Mako Air 8.5 seems to break all the rules set forth by other kayaks. It seems to defy what we know about kayaks. 
It's eight and a half feet long, and this impulse drive makes it rip across the water at speeds of five miles an hour. It is a six to one gear ratio on the impulse drive, and it's so smooth, it practically pedaled itself. The Mako Air 8.5 is only eight and a half feet long, 36 inches wide, and yet we both agree that it seemed to defy physics. It had such good stability that we could hardly believe it. So a good review, it reveals the strengths and the weaknesses. The weakness on this kayak would be that the rudder is about a seven out of 10. But that's a look at the ultra versatile and portable Mako Air 8.5. You can fly fish off this thing. It, it's it's really just a great all-around kayak. And then another new one for this year. It's a little bit hard to see down here. This is the Kubera Light. So all of the Vibe boats with air in them, they're, we're just calling them the Light because it just seems to make sense for us. This is a 12 and a half foot inflatable paddleboard with a wide open deck and gear tracks. So basically, you're going to be able to rig this thing out the way you want. It comes with our our switchback seat, which folds up. You can put this thing in a backpack and you can travel across the country with it. We have been, honestly, for the past year and a half, we've been moving this thing around the country. And with the wheeled backpack and everything, you can take this thing to your remote spots in Montana. You can fly fish on it. And it's going to be an absolute slayer. That's pretty much it for the new Vibe lineup. But we also have some exciting news for the Shearwater. Um, so if you come on over here. The Shearwater, most of you are going to be familiar with this boat. Uh, it comes standard with the, thank you, comes standard with the Vibe Versapod, which is your, it's a little storage hatch pod. So once you take this out, it opens up all kinds of opportunities for you. So if you wanted pedals, you can put pedals in. And it's as simple as dropping the pod into place, dropping the dropping the drive into place and you've got a fin style drive or you've got the impulse style drive all of the vibe pedal driven boats are going to be compatible with both fins and props moving forward so the shearwater is it it's a tournament boat it's a fishing boat this is a hardcore just everything that you need under one boat so you've got the easy to mount bixby motor on the back it comes with a blank that you can just pull off and then install the Bixby motor. No modifications required. There's two power pull mounts right there. And then you've got this great big oversized tank well. And top loading gear tracks front and rear. You have four tackle storage tray options. You have a standing platform here in front of the seat where it belongs. Nobody needs a standing platform back here. You want it right here where your feet are. We have four horizontal rod stagers right here, so you can lay your rods ready to go. And then you add the pedal drive, and you have your electronics pod right here where you can mount your battery. I really like the little Bixby battery that goes in there. And you can mount your fish finder right to the top, and your transducer mounts right to the bottom. So it's all contained and ready to go for you. So that's what makes the Shearwater probably the most versatile and complete fishing kayak in our lineup.